Dear Calendar Girl, I've never written to a magazine before. Well, actually, I've never written to anyone. Except for text messages. And I don't think that really counts. Needless to say, I was really nervous about writing you. I've read every column you've written for Simlish, and I'm fascinated by your life's experiences in San Myshuno. And right now, I need your expertise. I can hope that you can share some relationship advice with me. That's all I ask. I should tell you that I'm not from San Myshuno, but a little town from right outside your city. I'm also an 18-year-old senior in high school and in love. Well, as much as I can be in love at 18, I'm smart enough to realize that young love can be fickle and even more so when you're a teenager. But every time I'm around him, my stomach knots up, my tongue gets tied, and my heart, my poor little heart aches. Unfortunately, I've been friend-zoned, and I don't want to be just his friend. I crave to be the one wearing his jersey at basketball games or reading mushy little text messages from him during class, or the one he prefers to sit by at lunch. Even better, the one he asks out to dinner because it's Friday night. Notice me, please. This all sounds desperate when I write it out. It sounded so much better in my head. Every day after school, I sit across from him, books open, laptops at the ready, but no studying gets accomplished. We're always laughing at each other's dumb jokes or he's teasing me and vice versa. It's like... He makes it his day's goal to bring a smile to my face. The selfish, dim-witted jock and the lumbering, wide-eyed music nerd. How much more teenage 90s rom-com can it get? Only, he's not idiotic as I once thought, but I'm definitely naive. Which brings me to my question. Can true love be one-sided? Sincerely, can't hardly wait. P.S. He has a girlfriend. Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, a welcome to my little corner of the, the uh, Al Gore's internet. Uh, well, I guess I should say welcome back, because if you're an OG, you know, you've already been here. You're already a family member, right? All right. All right, so welcome to another episode of The Calendar Girl. Um, I don't know why there's a gray screen there, so please ignore that. We're just going to go with the flow. You guys are used to what this, how this thing works with me. Um, so I ask that you just remain patient with me as I continue to learn how to play this game, apparently, because I don't know how to play it. I don't know how to uh, maneuver Anyways, uh, yeah, so the last episode, what, what happened last time? Well, last time, um, Harmony went out um, and just hung out with her friends for a little while. And um, let's see, what happened? That basically it, you know, her usual thing. She got some work done and uh, she got to know her friends a little bit more some things about Meche, some things about Dosi, and she's, uh, her, Mer- Mercedes's uh, roommates are still a mystery to her, but she did find out that Cairo was interested, and 
I wanted to update you guys on that situation. They did not go on a date. She decided that um, her attention should remain on Mr. Adam Black right now. He is Mr. Merch, and they've only been dating for a couple weeks now. Um, that last day that they went on, the, the cooking class was absolute fantastic fun for her it was something different and she appreciates different um it didn't end well because she ended up having to clean up after adam's club but you know it is what it is um he isn't perfect, but he's certainly a gentleman, and she can appreciate that. Um, I did want to show you guys some improvements that we made on the the actual apartment. The consensus was that we should paint the wall, and we did. And everyone, not everyone, but two people agree that we should go with yellow. I agree. I love yellow. Yellow happens to be one of my favorite colors. Um, so we went with yellow. And then someone new to the channel, I'd like to say hello to Fairy Sims. She was like, look, girl, go ahead and put a couch in this, this apartment because homegirl needs to have a place to sit. And I totally agree with her. So Harmony's been doing fairly well. You see her funds have gone up so we went ahead and splurged a little bit on a Ikea-esque couch sorry about that and uh, a rug and a like a Ikea looking table um, so it's coming along very well she still wants to pick up some pe oh we got interrupted by Devin Priest Devin Priest just happens to be her father um, and he's actually calling her uh, it's been a few weeks. He, she hasn't heard from her parents since she moved to San Myshuno. Um, They were a little upset when she, she left Brindleton Bay. That's where she's originally from. But um, he actually wants to hang out with her at Orchard of Go-Go. So um, it's kind of early in the morning, but why not? We'll go ahead and meet our father. When you're playing games, do you ever like lean to the left or right? I always have a habit of leaning to the left or right. Oh, we got a little notification. There's a celebrity making a rare appearance at uh, the lounge. So now it's time to put in your best, put your best foot forward, or at least out of your mouth. I, you know what? I don't mind the celebrity um, celebrities in the game. They just become a little annoying. This is kind of a cute little place. Um, I've, uh, it's a little empty. But that seems to be the, the, the thing here. We go places. Oh, look, she's professional, y'all. She is three-fisting it. Uh, she's she's giving us some cocktail um, nostalgia here. Hands up if you've seen that, that movie. That was actually one of my favorite movies of all time because I used to have a big crush on Tom Cruise. But you don't need to know that. Anyways, let's give Dad a big hug. Tell him it's really nice to see him. This is like the first time they've... Um, been to the city. Her parents are country folk. They love um, the quietness of Brindleton Bay. So it took a lot for him to come out here and he's just given her an up. Oh, um, Adam, you know what? I, I appreciate the invite, but we're with our father right now. So we're going to have to cancel on you. Our father came all the way in from out of town. Um, I don't want to give our dad an apartment key, but he's just giving us update on mom, telling, uh, telling um, us how she's doing. Now, let me give you guys a little uh, sneak peek on Harmony's mom. Where is she at? She's down here somewhere. Her mom's name is Sanaya. This is her mom. Um, she is a geneticist and so is her father. They're both geniuses. Oh, look at her coming in all prissy. Okay. All right, then own it, work it. Okay. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that neither one of her parents have red hair. Okay. So here's the thing. Devin Priest is not actually her biological father, but he is her father in all, um, you know, and all that it entails, he is her father. He raised her. She is, um, he is the only person she knows and or in her life um, that is a male figure. Her bi uh, biological father ran off as soon as she. Okay, y'all are just loud. Um, her biological father took off before she was born. So Devin came into her mother's life. Uh, well, he's actually been in her mother's life for a long time. They met at work, 
and they fell in love and well he adopted Harmony mm, I would say probably when she was a few months old so he's her father um okay see this this is what this is what I'm talking about the sims you know these are like private conversations and Vincenzo it just decided that he was going to step up and look her her the look in her face the whole place paused I guess everybody's like dude you fell in he <laughs> what's going on with dude uh, she just looks absolutely tense. First of all, this dude standing in front of her all up in the conversation. Once again, all up in the Kool-Aid and we don't know the flavor. Um, but she is going to suggest that they get up on out of here. Is she hungry? She's hungry. She certainly could, um, use something to eat. Maybe, um, this will be a perfect time to show her dad around the city so, um, I don't know why everybody just paused for a minute. Is this like one of those, um, what were those things back in the early to mid two thousands? Um, the mobs where everybody comes out and like, they just like stand like still <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what those are called, but yeah. Uh, uh yeah, that was just looks weird. What is old dude doing here with no shirt on? Sir, did you not see the sign when you walked in the door? Uh, no shirt, no shoes. No. Oh, you have no shoes on either. You just broke all the rules. No service. All right, so Tati's in here taking care of business, I think. Are you taking care of business? She, oh, she had her drink in her hand. So, um, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, for some reason, this lot just glitched, glitched out. So, guess what? We're headed out to eat. We decided to take dad to George's because, you know, George's is our jam and all the stuff that goes on in San Myshuno seems to happen here at George's. If y'all remember a couple episodes ago, we met some dude, I can't even remember his name. He really isn't worth remembering, um, but he asked uh, Harmony out on a date, got here, um, and his wife was waiting for him. Um, Here's dude again with no shirt on and no shoes. How is he getting in the building? We're going to go ahead and request our favorite table. And I just noticed that the lights are broken. Can we replace those? Okay, we are not repairing that. Girl, you have no, um, no skills to repair anything. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the table, our favorite table. I think oh, she changed her clothes quickly. Um, where did dear old dad go? She isn't here with no, no shoes on. Where did y'all come from, the pool? Uh, okay. She is really in a tense mood. Stranger danger. Okay, well, I suppose. You're not, um, you're, you're amongst friends now. You come here often. Okay, so we're going to order for table. Dad's handsome. He looks good for his age. He's got some crow's feet, which I think is very, very attractive on, on men. The crow's feet. I don't know why. I just think it is. Um, all right. So she's going to not drink in front of her dad. Get some sparkling apple juice. Uh, she just, you know, doesn't like drinking in front, even though she was, you know, at the bar with something. But she's going to um, keep it cool and drink some apple juice and her dad will probably just get a coffee uh he likes to remain he he's a genius and he likes to keep his mind um focused and clear um and let's see what can we have for an entree um let's see her dad's probably going to pick something that uh, would be brain food so we'll go with um there's no salmon. Oh, yeah. We'll take salmon for dad. And Harmony will go for a steak. No, let's go for roasted chicken. All right. And then we'll do this. Okay. All right. Sounds delicious. So let's uh, chat it up with dad. Uh, can we not chat it up with dad? What the? 
More choices. Friendly. There we go. What was I missing? Let's ask him about his day. Dad is uh, preoccupied. I wonder why. What's going on? Okay. Finally, she has his attention. Dad, what are you doing here? Um, again, it's, where's mom? I mean, she's, she didn't come with you? No, your mom is at a conference, and so I decided to come and see you while, you know, she's away because it's kind of lonely at the house without her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're here. Um, are you enjoying the city? Eh, it's a little much for me, but uh, I think it's actually, I can see why you like it. The, the people are different, uh, but... I'll take Brindleton Bay any day. Uh, you just have to get used to it. Um, but I'm glad you're here. Are you going to stay the night? Uh, probably not. I'll probably, you know, head home tonight because your mom is supposed to be home in the morning. Oh, uh, well, that sucks. Maybe you guys can, you know, both come visit me. Of course. So right now we're working on the Love Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> They're geneticists, so they would not be creating rockets. I don't know why I said that. I mean, the little icon over his head, there was a little heart in a rocket. I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so she's actually just ecstatic to see her father. And it's, it's, a, it's good to see a friendly face amongst a bunch of strangers. She's in a sea of um, just unfamiliar faces and her dad is um, is, is like the oasis in the desert. So uh, whose phone is ringing? Oh, that's the restaurant. All right, let's just hope the meal comes uh, pretty soon. There's nobody here. Is Are they in there cooking? I'm, I'm Okay, there is a couple people here. Whoops, why do I do that? That's not what I wanted to do. Let's, oops, see, look. Look at this. Wow, I'm a noob. Are, are we coming in with the meal? What are we doing back here? Okay, looks like food is, is being cooked. Oh, food's here. She ninja'd her way, or he ninja'd. He, he ninja'd his way over here. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so let's, let's eat. Don't eat your dad's food. All right, so they're going to eat up, uh, and the food is delicious. Oh wow! Um, let's see. Let's let's chat him up a little bit more. Um, talk about her her job. How's the career going? Oh, it's doing really well, Dad. I'm I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I've gotten a few um, freelance jobs, and while I'm working for the the magazine. And so I'm making, I'm doing really well. I love my apartment, um, and I've made a couple friends, and I might have met somebody. Oh, yeah? Who? Um, well, his name is Adam. It's still brand new, so I'm not really sure where it's going. There's her mom. What? Oh, my gosh. Her mom. Oh, this is a mess out here. Did she just... Okay, well, why is her mom here not acknowledging her? Okay, I don't know. Um, okay, so maybe maybe they're actually here to check up on her. You know how parents can be. Uh, they're actually really worried about their, their kids. And, you know, instead of telling them exactly why they're in town. Um, okay, she walked by and looked. Mom, what what is going on here? Um Maybe we need to just eat and then find out why mom is here. Harmony came outside to greet her mom. She was like, Mom, I thought you were at a conference. Well, I was, but I ended up leaving early. Um, I just came to see you, and I knew your dad. He texted me and let me know, and let me know that he came to see you, and I just didn't want to miss out, so I left. It's so good to see you, but you know you could come sit with us. Um, yeah, I know. Um, and, oh, look at them. They are a handsome couple. And they're so in love. Look how she's looking at him. Look at that. Look at that. They are so in love. I love love. It's so sweet. I don't know. I know, guys. I'm such, I'm, so, I'm such an idiot. I think it's cute, though. 
Okay, let's um, let's hug them. It's getting it's getting kind of late, and she actually needs to get home and get some work done, and her parents need to get home. So um, why don't we give them a pep talk? Where was that? Let um, them know that they have nothing to worry about. She's doing well. Um, okay, let's just enthuse about interest. Let them know, hey, mom and dad, I'm doing really well. I'm, I I love it here. It's taking some getting used to, but I'm getting acclimated fairly quickly. Um, let's give them a hug. Let's say goodbye. Uh, let's see. Say goodbye. I know I saw say goodbye. So y'all just gonna do me like that and take that away from me? Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and let our parents get back home. Uh, they oh, he didn't he didn't eat his food. Anyway, so yeah, we'll let our parents get home and we will meet you at the house. Okay, guys, it is one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, and Adam shows up at our door. I mean, out of nowhere. And it's a surprise. It took us by surprise. There was no phone call, nothing. It's what's so crazy was she was just thinking about him because, okay, you came in, dude, and our sink is broken. Okay, we're just going to have to replace that. Um, so, yeah, she's in the shower. Uh, she was just like, look, I'm, I'm surprised this to you, but I really need to take a shower. Um, I mean, it's one o'clock, it's two o'clock in the morning. What are you over here for? Nothing is going down. So just know that, sir. Um, but she's going to greet him anyways. She was up. She was already awake. Um, she went to bed as soon as she got home. Everything is breaking in this apartment. Um, because yeah, she went to bed as soon as she got home yesterday and uh, she was just beat um so she's like what are you doing here i was in the neighborhood and i just wanted to see you you were on my mind and i took the chance to come up here i know it's late and i apologize but i had to see you okay well i surprised you here but i'm actually glad that you are um I just wanted to let you know that I enjoyed myself the other day. Um, that cooking class was amazing. I needed that. I've been trying to learn how to cook for the longest. Um, oh, I'm glad you lo loved it. I hope you come back. Well, you know, I won't do every class, but every now and then I can budget it. Um, yeah, it was it was great. Um, yeah, I, I actually wanted to... Um, ask you out on another date. Um, so that's why I came over here. I, I know I could have called you, but I really needed to see your face. Well, that's really sweet of you, Adam. I'm so glad you came by. Um, actually, why don't you ask him if he wants some breakfast? Yeah, let's, let's fix some breakfast for him. Show him what we learned. Uh, let's see, grand breakfast. Yeah, let's, let's show off a little bit fix this little, um, this, this, uh, <laughs> this breakfast, um, girl, knowing you don't, if the refrigerator looks a little empty, uh, let's show them the skills that you've learned. That's a, those are some big eggs. Just noticed how big those eggs are. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm stupid. You guys ever like watch a movie and you've watched it like more than one time? And the first time you watch it, it's all good. But by the 15th time you've seen that movie, you start talking about stuff in the movie. Like, <laughs> this is me playing The Sims. Like, I love The Sims. But I start noticing things and I start like, uh, look how big those eggs are. Y'all know those eggs are huge. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm not really. <laughs> I just got started. <laughs> this is. All the ridiculousness. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, what she's got cooking? Those eggs. Uh, just look. Look, those eggs look so rubbery. <laughs> okay. I'm so done. <laughs> okay. I'm, I am for real. I'm for real this time. 
<sighs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, he's like, oh, what you got over here? Yeah, I'm making some breakfast, some eggs. Oh, look at him dancing. He's hungry. You, you know you're hungry when you start dancing. You know, ever had something really good? You start dancing in your chair because it's so good. Uh, just me? That's okay. I'll own it. Um, all right. So she's got the breakfast going. and Oh, she's getting professional. You go, girl. Oh, she is really showing off. She's trying to win all. Oh, look, you guys. She even measured out her pepper. And he's like super happy, dude. Stop. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, that looks excellent. How is the... Oh, okay. She did make a quality... Uh, a quality meal. We actually do need to get a table in here, though. Um, they can't just eat at the bar. Maybe we'll, well, that'll be our next purchase. I mean, we have some money. I just want to make sure that she has enough to keep up uh, utilities and stuff. Really, girl? Um... I mean, her rent is like $500 a month, which is like super cheap. I mean, seriously, if you lived anywhere like where I'm from, $500 in the city is not going to get you anywhere. A closet, maybe, but in a, a whole apartment, especially something as nice as this, you can't even get in the building for $500 a month. Um, oh, they both enjoy that smell. Um, are they going to eat? Oh, they're going to eat standing up. You definitely need a, a table and chair set. So we're, we'll take care of that. Uh, but he's like, this is delicious. I see those cooking, that, that cooking class helped. Let me check out her cooking skills. Okay, she's not doing too bad. Maybe she can learn how to bake next. That might be something she can learn. Um, actually, I do kind of want to work on some of her skills. Um, why not? I mean, when you're dating, you definitely want to, imp I don't know. I, I feel like this when you date or just in general as a person, there's, you always want to try to grow and you always want to learn something new. I think Harmony is that type of person that, yeah, she's has great skills as a writer, but you know, maybe she has some other interests, uh, she'd like to, um, take a gander at. So maybe, Maybe she'll take a singing class and, and continue to work on that cooking. Uh, who knows? You know, maybe her future husband will appreciate her excellent skills in the kitchen. All right. So I also had a thought. Adam's come over here twice so far. If you guys remember from the last episode, he was over here. I think it's about time that we pop up at Adam's house. We have no idea where he lives. But it would be nice to actually see where he lays his head at night. And I think she's going to go ahead and ask him um, for... Have we not asked him if he was single? All right, well, let's confess our attraction. I think we did exchange numbers already. So she does have his information in her phone. So, I mean... Oh! Well, what was that about, sir? Really? It just... Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time for you to go. That was rude. I mean, I thought we were having a good time. You showed up at my house at 2 o'clock in the morning. I didn't think it was that bad to ask a question. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to put away this food, clean up. He had the nerve. Okay, well, whatever. Um, Let's see what time it is. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. No one's awake. Um, we aren't really having a lot of fun, but we definitely need to find another assignment and keep the, the cash flow going. So let's check to see what we have. And then maybe we can just go hang out with, um, maybe we can hang out with Dosi today. Um, maybe, you know, it'd be a great day. It's, is it springtime and it's a little chilly today? Let me check the calendar and see what we're looking at. What's the weather going to be? Okay, so it's just sunny, partly sunny, partly cloudy. Um, hmm. Okay, so hanging out by the pool is out. All right, so let's see what we got. Hmm. 
help our dystopian future. This one's due by Saturday. It's Thursday. All right, so let's take this one. Um, I didn't even read the description, but I'll figure that out later. Um, so basically what we need to do is chat with the client, write a science fiction novel, and get the book approved. I like this, the freelancer f freelance writing gig, because you're making like double money. Not double money, but you're making good money because you're making money off the books from the royalties, and you're making money from the assignment if you know if the assignment is approved so uh yeah i think this is a great way to make money fairly quickly i haven't played any other freelance jobs so freelance careers so anyways let's um let's see if dosi's awake and let's see if we can get oh she is uh she is going to check her mailbox dosi checks her mailbox awful lot i'm just noticing things um Let's see. Let's uh, not ask her to move in. Let's uh, discuss interests. Find out if she's interested in hanging out. Maybe we can go back over May Chase house. Um, we didn't get to spend a lot of time there the last time, so maybe we can go over there and hang out with them. Uh, hey, you want to go out? Oh. Hang out? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You guys, this house is immaculate. I don't remember who built this house. I never re remember who builds houses that I take off of the gallery. Uh, only unless I like literally follow them on YouTube. I don't remember. But this penthouse is just gorgeous. Look at this. Let's we'll take a gander. Who would have thunk to use these curtains as like a... Uh, our architectural um, like detail. That is so gorgeous. Oh, I just now noticed there's a dollhouse up here and it kind of looks like the house. Wait a minute. Is the dollhouse this house? Wait. Oh, is it though? I think it is. Maybe. I'm tripping. Okay, never mind. Anyways, so where did Harmony go? She came in here and kind of made herself at home. I don't really see anybody here. Dosie's here and somebody's home because we got in the house. But uh, the girls are scarce. And yeah, like it's eerily quiet in here. No one's around. What is this all about? Is anybody outside? No. Where? Do we have a key or something? I mean, no one's here. Okay, I guess they were like, left a note with the dorm. Oh, it's Corey's here. Okay. Well, maybe we can come in and say hi to Corey. We don't really know her very well. Um, so let's just be friendly. I mean, we are in her house. She does pay bills here. And so the least we can do is try to get to know her and not just come in and just speak to Mercedes. Um, hey, Corey, how are you? I actually, we had actually came over here to see Meche, but yeah, she's at work. Um, but um, yeah, you guys can hang out as long as you want. Well, we don't want to stay over there. Welcome. Uh, we were just trying to see, you know, if she wanted to come and um you know spend the day together i just needed a day to myself but you're more than welcome to come hang out with dosi and i um or me and dosi uh i guess i'll take you guys up on that offer perfect we gotta find something to do then so let's see what we can get into i mean it's a little too chilly to be hanging out by the pool but this would be a great place to have a party or two i'm saying this would be amazing We've got to plan that. I think that's going to be, um, uh, that might be a really good idea is to throw a party and invite all the guys over that we know. Uh, so far we only knew, know like two or three, three actually, but, um, yeah, we can probably hook some, some of the girls up because everybody is single except for me. I mean, Harmony's not necessarily officially, um, date, well, 
yeah, they're just dating. They're not together together. So I guess you could say that she's single as well. But anyways, let's see if we can get into something. So the girls drove around for a little while and well walked around and took a cab and an Uber and didn't really find anything that was of interest in the city right now. So they decided to head out of the city um, and go to this cute little cafe that they found in Winnenberg, just on a whim. And isn't it cute? This is so cute. I love this entire vibe. And just, it's smack dab in the middle of um, Windenburg. And then there's a little, um, little shopping center over here with some e uh, little eatery. So this is like a cute little area to hang out at. So none of them are really hungry. At least Harmony really isn't. I mean, she... Yeah, she's not really hungry, but just the, the company. Uh, of course, we're all sitting at the table looking at our phones. Uh, but just to hang out and have conversation is, like, perfect for her. So we're going to just chat with our girl, see how they're doing, um, get to know Corey a little bit better. We still haven't talked to Giava. She's not even on our um, our friends list on Simstagram. We don't even follow her. Let's tell an engaging story. Actually, this is kind of a good place to meet people too. Um, can we order a coffee? Um, okay, nobody's here to do that. I guess we have to make our own coffee. Um, okay, well, whatever. We're just here to enjoy the company. Um, is anybody working? Um, nobody's working. All right, how did you get a plate? What is that on your plate? Why does that look gray and old? That looks so unappetizing. I don't know what that is, but it looks so unappetizing. All right, so, wow, this is a, a nice little crowd. I guess they're like a bunch of beautiful women sitting at a table. Um... Uh, you know, they're going to attract attention. I think we know this guy, though. I think we met him. Oh, yeah, we met Alika, like, on our first night in San Myshuno. I guess we could talk to him. I mean, he seems like a nice guy. We did find out that he was married, by the way, so don't, don't, don't get any ideas, guys. All right, so, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, the girls just want to hang out for a little bit and chit-chat. And make it a quiet day. It was a very short episode, but it's just not a whole lot to do today. They just want to hang out. And sometimes that's okay. We don't need a lot of drama in our life every day. But my next thought, you know what? Before I end the episode, I think Harmony is going to excuse herself. Um, go use the bathroom. I did want to go check out one thing. So before we go, let me have her go use the restroom. And then I am going to have her text um, Adam. Because I am absolutely curious. She wants to um, visit him at his house, and she found out where he lives. She did some uh, research, found out that he lives in um, Newcrest, and that is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Windenburg. So this is the perfect opportunity for her to um, go visit him. You can't use these bathrooms, can you? Okay, well, this venue isn't usable. Can we not? Can we use this venue at all? see can she go in okay well we might not be able to use this venue at all well darn all right all right so we're gonna go ahead and tell our friends goodbye and um i'm gonna cheat her bladder just a little bit oops i didn't mean to cheat it that much but uh before we go i do want to see if we can um head over to adam's house see you in a moment all right, so we actually went over to Adam's house, and he wasn't home. But lo and behold, he shows up at our door. So, oh, he comes in. 
Um, that's interesting. I guess he might have been on his way to our house when we were on his, our way to his house. Great. Not a problem. I mean, we're both kind of thinking the same thing. Um, she definitely needs to go ahead and use the bathroom. Oh, we found out a little bit more about Adam. He's materialistic. Interesting. What else do we know about him? Hmm. We know that he's active. And he's materialistic. And he's in a, the side dish club. All right. So, um, anyways, Adam wanted to come by and apologize for the other night. And she's already accepted his apology. She's not mad at him at all. She understands that. They are trying to take things slowly. And he... Uh, did he leave? Uh, he's getting ready to leave, maybe. Um, he wanted to take things slowly, and they haven't really been spending a lot of time together alone, and that's something that they definitely need to rectify. So maybe on the next episode, they will head out on another date um, so they can get to know each other without a crowd. Anyways, we will go ahead and end it there, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely give me a like. A uh, thumbs up, as they say, and then drop me a comment and be comment below. Let me know what you think about how the relationship is going with Adam. Um, also, let me know what you think about the changes to her apartment. And I don't know, whatever else you're thinking about this series so far, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you're not a member of the family and you'd like to come to the family reunion, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you know anytime I upload. I do upload at least three times a week, if not more, definitely more lately. And until next time, Cairo's calling. What we'll do, I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Dear Can't Hardly Wait, you asked me for advice. I have some. No, true love cannot be one-sided. But there's hope. You're 18, and as much as you don't want to hear this, I know because I was once your age, you have plenty of time to get your heart broken. Yes, I said it. Young love equals broken heart. Even adult love can be just as messy, so leave it to us to make those mistakes and enjoy your time being 18. You mentioned you were about to graduate. Congratulations. Your senior year is so important. You're on the precipice of truly leaving your childhood behind. Believe me, once you start college, time flies by. You'll wake up one day and you'll wonder, what happened to that guy I pined over in high school? Maybe he's a successful lawyer with his own practice, has two kids, a dog, and a beautiful wife. Or maybe he's lonely, managing the local food market, twice divorced, inundated with child support. Who knows what the future holds? But. That's the beauty of taking it slow and enjoying one day at a time. I'm sure you have a group of friends who appreciate being around you even more than he does. Hang out with them more, laugh, gossip about boys, but let them grow up. Let yourself mature and then date and date often. Sincerely, Calendar Girl. P.S. You just had to slip in that he had a girlfriend, didn't you? Like I wouldn't notice.